Hey, down here. Okay, well, I wasn't thinking about how the camera was. The camera was aiming when I turned it on, so we'll rope it up. Okay, so, um, well, let's see. Let's just go back here and I'll start telling you. Okay, uh, I got to, you know, as you, if you see the previous video, I've already got the, uh, got the truck running good and everything. The, uh, all, uh fuel transfer tube replaced, not leaking anymore. So, uh, I was talking about my tires, and this is one I bought a set of used tires several years ago. They're uh, they got some tr enough tread left on them to use for a while, especially since I don't drive much. These are uh, like Pro Comps, they're pretty expensive tires when they're new. But I didn't use this one because it was the least tread, and I had lots of tread on this one. That's my last BF Goodrich. I actually bought it used too, but it was like it was brand new. It still had the Rubber bump, rubber tits on it, so uh, it's been on there for years, and it hasn't blown out. It's been, and it's not even cracked. I think it's at least ten years old, maybe older. I can't remember when I bought it now. But uh, oh, and I already shut this up. But uh, in here, I, I made this wooden thing. Whoa! Making videos can be dangerous. I nearly put my foot in the wrong. In, I put my foot into nothing and nearly fell. Okay, so yeah, I don't think I can do that anymore with one hand. So uh, we'll put you up here in some nice place and then I guess I'll aim it up at the truck until I get ready to pick it up again. Yeah, that's my little step ladder I'm using. <coughs> okay, so I gotta open that up and I wanna put that tire up in there on top of that board and stuff there, but first I gotta. Uh, my, I have a rolling floor jack. So I'll show you in a minute, but I gotta put some oil in it. need to be closer if I can get closer so I'll have a place to set it the way things are sitting there I might be able to my floor jack is down in here somewhere my hands the shining of everything is so weird okay there we go I'll just leave it like that <laughs> a little bit yeah okay I'm still recording, I believe so. Let's see. That's my, one of my spinners. This it opened up pretty easy though. Well, I guess it, I didn't really think about how far I was able to open it. Supplies in here. Oh. Mm, board 
is that I keep them here out of the way. Oh, I didn't show you the blow. I'll show you the blowout on the tire. It's sitting on this blown out tire right now. Let's see. Everything's usually stacked neatly, but it doesn't have to be just to do this. There. Now, let's see if I've got it to where it can be seen. I don't know if it can be seen. It looks dark to me. I can't even see my hand. Should be some light on this subject. Well, I think so. Well, most of the time it can be seen even though I don't think it can, so. I don't have a screwdriver back here to look at. I don't have to have one. You, don't, you can do it with your fingers. That's the plug where you put the jack hole. see. Oh, I'm sure it's low. It leaks. No, oh, it's full. Okay. Good. It's real bad about leaking. If you turn it over or anything, it will leak. Or it will hardly even work. This is... I bought this brand new. It's like a three-ton AC Delco brand. I could have checked that without doing that moving. Not very well, though. I've been fighting with it. I keep jack oil in here. Because if you get flat or something and the jack is not working you're in trouble because that screw jack you'd never get this little truck jack up a bit that's just there for like a backup uh, you desperate time I know that I'm dirty it's harder to get back in than it is to get out and it's hot back here and when the sun gets on you it's hot it's only like 82 degrees but Plenty for me. I actually had to take a rest earlier. I guess that's what it was. Well, I did have a, I rested for a while under the fan, and I wasn't hot in the garage. And then I <sighs> we'll get something to press on that with, I guess. Let's see. This is so I keep socks back here for rags and stuff. I, sometimes I've already turned them the other way. <laughs> this one was clean on the inside, so that's good. I just think I need something to press on that with. Besides my thumb, it's just not doing the job. So, this jack might do it. I'm gonna try the jack. I'll get my gloves on, I can hold it upside down and push on it. The glasses are fogging. I like to wear these safety glasses because they magnify, they help me see, but they're fogging up. Hit it and knock it off into the wild blue yonder. I didn't remember ever having so much trouble doing this. I usually have it out somewhere. There it is. Damn it. I guess it was not a good idea to do it like this. I used to carry that thing around, throw it around. It was heavy, but now I can barely even raise it up. I've had it for quite a few years now. Back in the 90s, I guess, or early 2000s, when I got this jack. You know, it started leaking after a year, a couple of years at the most. Still works, but I've looked at videos on how to, I've got a giant Craftsman jack that's too heavy to pick up. And it raises real high. It'd be great for the garage. Somebody gave me. And, uh, Back then, I, there was a, a hydraulic repair shop in Fort Worth that I went to, and they said they would do it. Everybody else I talked, I talked to a couple other people. No, we won't do those things. I gotta go get a screwdriver then. If that's what it is, I need to push in on the sides of it. But uh, I'm gonna leave that sitting there because it's hard to get set up.
Okay, I got rid of those glasses because all they were doing was making where I couldn't see good because they sweat so much. There we go. Yeah, I was just not using my noggin. Don't work. Jet noggin. They always used to say, don't work harder, work smarter. And so I decided to work harder in the heat. That's when you do that kind of stuff. Worst possible time. Okay, so. Yeah, I thought I might go get it inspected today, but uh, I'm going to be too tired. It's going to be ready for me to have supper and get ready for bed. I've been going to bed really early. So I can get up early. I did get up at, well, I got up at 2 this morning. Okay, yeah, the thing went down all by itself now, so that's good. So it should be ready to use when, when and if I need it. Let's see. Right, before I do that, let's put the bottle of oil back in there. Put it in there where I want it. wood back in there where I want it. I always keep wood for stacking. If you get have a flat or something or you get work on something and you're in a muddy place, just a few two fours can really save you bacon. And it keeps stuff from sliding around as much. Let's see. So it can get wedged when things move around when you drive. But that come along there, that's really handy. I guess it's the best place to have it in here. You don't usually use it much at home in a garage. If I do, if I can remember, I mean, I'll usually remember well. If I can't find it now, then it's probably in the truck, you know. So. But uh, this little box I made back here really has worked out. I made it when I first got the truck in like 92. I had taken it out and let it sit in the backyard for a week or two, and that's all, and it got all old looking and everything. It was brand new wood. I never did. I was always going to finish it, you know, with something, but I didn't. Let's see. This one is laying up here. When they were laying together, they were rattling. So I thought I'll put it up there. It probably won't stay there. And it probably will. I think that door will just sit on it to where it might stay there. So let me... I'm going to leave it this time. I'll find out probably tomorrow. I'll drive down to the tire store. Oh, there's the crack. That's what I wanted to show. Can you see that? When I looked at I started, I was just going to check the air and put air in it, and I saw that giant crack. So, yeah, I believe it's not holding air at all. I don't know if it's too dark to see that or not, but... Uh, maybe I could shine a little light in there just for... I don't think. No, it doesn't make any light in here. I think maybe it's just that my eyes can't see that there is enough light for the camera. The, what I mean is, is the display. Lots of times the camera's working fine, but the display's not. So that's dead. And that's what those things will do. Is it's been back here as my spare for years. This brand here. I did get them used, but they are the worst. Dang. Oh, it was loose. At least because it was aiming down. It's a work dynamatic radial Sportster 8 uh, 5, I guess, IV. Worst one's about blowing out I've ever seen. Worse than those mud trains, those mud kings, and wet and worse than uh, BF Goodrich when they're. And BF Goodrich don't start doing that until they get really old. These had, uh, it's got a little more, about the same or a little more tread on it than the one I've got out here. But, uh, uh, 
let's go ahead and put this up here on the hood. Hang it up. Let's see, I guess that other spot was there. I'm trying to find a spot with a little bit of shade. And I do need to keep it <coughs> moving because I'm running on battery and I don't have it plugged in this time. But it was fully charged. It had enough time to charge back up while I was resting. Okay. Kind of has a bent loop on it to kind of help hold it away from the away from the uh, window. And then tomorrow I'll go have it put on and try to get inspected and everything. Yeah, let's see how much fun it is putting the window back up because my uh, cranker my cranking situation I fixed it a hundred times it still broke still breaks itself over and over. holding it back and the window won't shut.
So, I select my handiwork. Old door handle off of something. I messed up. I've even messed up that. That thing keeps getting bent. Is it? Front license tag. We keep my, my mom will run into my trail my trailer hitch and bend it, but it gets hung on your legs when you're dra dragging around through there. And that was the old window crank from the old tailgate. I let a friend of mine borrow this, and he broke the back window. It's easy to do if you uh, don't forget and leave the window out and try to shut it. He put a whole new tailgate on it. He he lit, he grew up in a junkyard. I mean, he's a mechanic growing up. And he thought it would be better, but the cranker is actually worse than my old one. And uh, anyway, I turned that into my first. I drilled a hole through here and then threaded the inside. That wore out pretty quick. And then I welded little quarter, the quarter twenties, and welded little nuts in there on that side, and they wore out. That wore out a couple of times. And I fixed that crank, cranking stuff inside there a hundred times. I spent seventy-five dollars on a new one of these. And then spend another $15 or $20 getting the lock keyed. But it doesn't do no good when the... But I just don't want it to be able to crank that mechanism in there. Unless I'm the one doing it. Because then it really gets out of whack. So, what's that? Can't show it. There it is. Some kind of rubber booty. And that does not belong on the door of that van. Or anything I know of. Huh. Okay, let me get my... Oh, I'll put it in my pocket. Now I dropped it. Alright, now. Get my ladder. We'll just go this way. Oh. I think I better try and straighten that up a little bit. So I'll leave the ladder. I may have to get a few tools there. It's pretty... Sticking out a lot and it's just going to tear some pants or something. So... There we go. I think I'm putting. Oh yeah, I gotta clean the leaves out of the thing. I want to make a painful video of that. <coughs> but I thought, well, I'm gonna show the spare tire and all that stuff, and how they blow out. And so uh, tomorrow we will be my plan to try and go get it inspected and get that tire. And luckily, I had that extra tire. I didn't use it. Well, I said that. I didn't use it to start with. I bought four together, and those are directional tires. They can only spin one way. So it couldn't be my, it can't be my spare. So I put that one with all the tread in the back of my spare because it can turn either way. I never had a set of tires like that that have to be spent. They said if you turn around and spin another way, they'll blow it, they'll come apart. And I kind of always knew it's really better not to do that. They always used to tell you that way back when I first started driving, they, most tires were like that. They, they, companies would say, no, you can spin either way, but in practice, when they get old, because when I first started driving, I couldn't, I was in case of hot rod and burning up all the rubber off my tires, and I'd go buy used tires for 10, 15, 25 dollars and burn the rubber off of them. And if you put them around, uh, the other way, the, the good tire, used tire shops would try to mar it'd mark them which way they'd been spinning when they took them off, and then they'd try to put them back on the same way. But they quit doing that, and I think it's, I still think it makes a difference on most tires. Most, uh, especially like big tires like this. Anyway. Um, okay, let's plug this up. Oh, there's my yellow jacket. One of them. I guess he's gone now. He's in here checking out everything. Ooh, that fan feels good. Let's sit down for a minute. Okay, but I'm going to turn you off. You don't need a fan. Okay, bye.